What's up, YouTube Capital G here. I have got a display of Lunar Light greatness that might be unrivaled. This deck is becoming very, very legitimate. And remember when I said that I was probably going to be switching to Lunar Light's IRL? Everybody's like, oh my God, you're going crazy. Stop being a troll cap. G, that deck is trash. You must be going C now. I'm telling you guys, the deck is getting legitimate. Now, we talked about Kaleido Chick the other day, and I knew that she was amazing, but I'm not going to lie. I did not know that she was this good. Like, what she allows you to do is just recover so quickly so let me go ahead and show you guys some replays and for all you guys that think that lunar lights are just a garbage deck have some boys because this deck is telling you man this the lunar lights the lunar light revolution is happening guys it's gonna happen this is one leo dancer remember when we first learned about leo dancer and we thought that it was such an amazing card but it was so hard to fucking summon like look at this you're just dropping leo dancer after leo dancer after fucking leo dancer search your wolf bam three leo dancers turn one guys easy you take five cards remember this card is 3500 it's a magic specter it can attack attack twice and it blows up all special summon monsters your opponent controls it's a fucking behemoth you know how you gonna out this boy you gonna play the wing dragon around the main deck like come on man most meta foes and other they don't have any outs to three leo there they're just like oh okay well you got it just pretty much just gg so leo dancer is a card that is now uh, extremely easy to summon and it's really just because if you guys were watching closely like when you fuse using Kaleido chick and black sheep it's almost like you recover it's like you have a, re uh, a fusion recovery you basically get you know one of your lunar light monsters back which is probably gonna be uh, Kaleido chick and then you get your poly back and it's like you now I don't want to say you have endless resources but now you just don't have to worry about like oh my god I don't have fusion recovery I'm running out of resources now that wasn't against a competitive deck and that obviously was going first against no max C so let's see an actual like you know an actual match and you know show this in a practical sense now you guys would all agree this is paleozoic i mean it looks he's got a maxi obviously he's playing take Tenberg, which i guess a little weird but you know he's got the the, the barrier statue the water one okay this is a competitive deck he got the tenki twin twisters that back row get that out of here summons kaleido chick he turns kaleido chick into cat dancer and it's just it's so good because you fill up your graveyard at the same time you're able to go into the higher fusions like leo dancer or panther dancer but then when you have like the um the cat dancer in your graveyard obviously later in the duel you can banish it with wolf so he goes into dante which <laughs> i don't know if he was like just giving up at this point but uh yeah dante ain't getting over panther dancer so he activates the instant fusion for norton i knew instant fusion was good in this deck because bringing back your black sheep seems pretty good or you can go into like xc play so he uses Wolf, activates the Monster Reborn effect, goes into Leo Dancer. He's just going to recover everything now. So he just recovers Kaleido Chick again. Normal summons it, goes into Bullhorn. Again, guys, the Zodiac Beast or Zodiac Beast support is super, super good and Lunar Lights because you can basically search everything. And once uh, you have Leo Dancer against an open field, the, the chances of survival are basically like zero. I mean, these cards can attack twice. I don't know if you guys <laughs> noticed that, but this bitch basically can put out 7,000 damage by herself. Leo dancer is almost a one card otk so this is the duel or this is i guess li uh, lunar lights in kind of like a more practical sense now again not saying that they're going to be like tier zero or anything like that but i am i am loving the direction that this deck is going into and uh, i think transcendental fusion would obviously make the or would honestly make the deck a little bit better as well but uh man kaleido chick takes this deck to bounds and heights that i did not think was possible well it's really kaleido chick plus uh the zodiac beast you know what i mean like those two things combined are just really really good for lunar light so let me know what you guys think do you think lunar lights have a chance of being competitive i, I would just say here's what i'm saying i think they'll be like a top 10 deck like maybe about maybe nine to eight somewhere around where like blue eyes is right now somewhere like that so anyways if you guys enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already lunar lights master race i see you serena